Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to download the Windows 11 ISO file, but for ARM-based computers, such as those new Copella Plus PCs that Microsoft and many other companies are shipping now with Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. In addition, I'm going to show you the steps how to use the ISO file to create a bootable USB media to perform a clean installation or an in-place upgrade. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to have YouTube show this video to more people and to get notified when new videos become available. This doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that you can use an x64 computer such as those using an AMD or an Intel processor to download the ISO file and to create a USB bootable media. However, you cannot use the ARM64 ISO file to set up a virtual machine or install the operating system on a device that includes an x64 architecture processor. Now, another thing that I wanted to point out is that even though this page might look familiar, it's not the same one that you use to download the ISO file for the regular version of Windows 11. As you can see, I have it right here and this is to download the ISO file for AMD and Intel processors. Also, as you can see, Microsoft only is providing the ISO file. We don't have an installation assistant tool or the media creation tool. Okay, so while on this page, simply select Windows 11 and then just click the download button. Then select your language and click confirm. And then just click the download now button. We're going to save this to the computer. And now the ISO file is going to download on your computer. Now, if for some reason you can download the Windows ISO for ARM64 from the official website, or you want the ISO with the latest updates already included, we can use the UUP dump script. So you need to go to this website. And then from here, we have to select the version that we want to download. And from this list, you need to select the latest version available for ARM64, as you can see right here. The build number will be different depending on when you're trying to download the files. From here, select the installation language and then click Next. Then you want to choose the editions of Windows that you want to have on that ISO. And I'm just going to keep both Home and Pro. And then I'm going to click Next. Then make sure to select the download and convert to ISO option. And then also make sure that this option is checked, include updates. This will create an ISO that includes the latest updates available for Windows 11. And then simply click the create download package. Then we're going to save this to the computer. Now we're going to open the folder location. We're going to open the file and then we're going to extract everything. Okay, from here, we want to go up a level and I'm just going to rename this folder to something shorter. So I'm just going to use Windows ARM. And the reason is that sometimes if you have a space on the folder name, it might get an issue with the script. So from here, we're going to right click this script and then we're going to select the run as exterior option. From here, just click on more info and then click the run anyway button. It is important to know that the script will actually download the installation files from the Microsoft servers, and then it will use different commands to create a custom ISO file for Windows 11, in this case, for ARM-based devices. And because it's also applying the latest updates, it might take some time to complete. We're going to type R and then enter. Now, as we can see, the script already downloaded a bunch of files and updates, and it's now using the deployment image servicing and management tool, also known as the Descent command, to perform the different modifications to create the custom ISO file. Now, while the script is still processing, I wanted to point out that you're not only able to download the latest version of Windows 11. However, if you want to install the latest preview of Windows 11 on an ARM device, yes, you can join the Windows Insider program and download the latest updates through the Windows Update Settings. 
However, you can also go to the UUP dump and you can choose the channel, for example, the Canary channel. And here you're going to find the latest updates available. And as you can see, we can choose the ARM64. And through the same process, you can download the script to create a custom ISO that you can use to do a clean installation or an in-place upgrade with the latest preview of Windows 11. Now, after the script completed creating the custom ISO for Windows 11, you're going to see a screen like this, and then just press zero to close the screen. Now, if we open the folder where we extracted the files, that's where you're going to find the custom ISO file for ARM64 in this case. And from here, if you want, you can rename it And then you can use different tools like Rufus to create a USB bootable media. Now, if you have the ISO file on a ARM computer, you can right click on it and select the mount option to access the files. And you can also proceed with an in-place upgrade or a clean installation if you choose not to keep your files and settings and applications. Now, in order to create a bootable media for the Windows 11 ISO for ARM64, we can also use the Rufus tool, which is a popular tool that we usually use to create a bootable media for regular computers. So we just need to go to this website right here and then just click on the latest update available. And then we're going to save this on the computer. Now open the folder where you downloaded the Rufus tool. We're going to right click on it and select the Ransom Trigger option. At this time, you can connect a USB flash drive to your computer that has at least 8 gigabytes of storage and anything on that drive is going to be deleted. So if you have anything important, make sure to transfer it to another location. From here, we're going to select the, the device and then we're going to click the select button. And from here, we're going to select the ISO file for M64 and click open. The only thing that you have to change and that's optional too, is the volume label. I'm going to use Windows 11 ARM. So, and then just click the start button. Now, since you will be installing Windows 11 on an ARM based device, which usually is already supported with Windows 11, we don't need to customize the installation. Now, if for some reason you want to use a local account instead of a Microsoft account during the installation process, you can check this option. And if you want the setup to create an account automatically, check this option and provide a name for the account that you want to create. Remember that if you're using these two options after the installation of Windows 11, you will need to assign a password to the account. For this video, I'm just going to clear these two options and then I'm going to click the OK button to create that bootable media for R64 devices. Now, after the Rufus tool completed processing the bootable media, you can close the application and now we have an USB flash drive. Remember that now you cannot use this USB to install Windows 11 on an X64 computer. And that's it. Those are two quick ways that you can use to download the Windows 11 ISO file for Cupola Plus PCs using Qualcomm Snapdragon R processors. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.